Today, we'll be discussing symbiotic relationships. Symbiotic relationships are interactions between two different organisms living in close association. There are three types of symbiotic relationships, mutualism, parasitism, and commensalism. First, let's have a look at mutualism. Mutualism is when both organisms in the relationship benefit in some way. It's mutually beneficial. There is a bird called a plover that cleans the teeth of alligators. Plovers get a meal from this, and alligators get food cleaned up from between their teeth. We all know how annoying food stuck in your teeth can be, so alligators like their personal flossers. Symbiotic relationships don't just happen between animals. The term organism includes all living things. Another common example of mutualism is between hummingbirds and flowers. Hummingbirds drink nectar from flowers, which is their food. The flower benefits from this as it's able to get cross-pollinated for their seeds to mature and grow more flowers. Our next type of symbiotic relationship is parasitism. If you think of what you know of parasites, you'll already know what happens in these relationships. Here, one organism benefits, but the other is harmed. The one benefiting is called a parasite, and the one being harmed is called a host. An example is a tick and any warm-blooded animal they feed on, including us. The blood is the tick's food, which they need to live, but we lose blood we need. We are harmed from the loss of blood. Another example of parasitism is the cuckoo bird. The cuckoo bird doesn't build its own nest, but instead lays its egg in another bird's nest. To avoid suspicion, the cuckoo bird will remove one of the original eggs. The bird that owns the nest cares for and raises the cuckoo's egg as her own, and in the meantime lost her own baby. Once the baby cuckoo hatches, it will often push out the other babies so that it gets all the food and intention of the mom bird. The last type of symbiotic relationship is commensalism. Commensalism is when one organism benefits and the other organism neither benefits nor is harmed. They're neutral. Remora fish attach to sharks. The remora eat any scraps the sharks don't eat. They get a meal without needing to hunt for the food themselves. The sharks don't care they're there. Since the remora just eat the leftovers, they're not taking any food from the sharks and not harming them in any way. Likewise, animals are unharmed when the burdock plants spiny seeds stick to them. The burdock benefits as its seeds are spread for the burdock to grow new plants. These have just been six quick examples of symbiotic relationships. There are many, many more. Look for examples of mutualism, parasitism, and commensalism between organisms where you live.